He was an insider, bro. He was a part of the inner workings of Andrew Tate. And this is the confession. He's not actually Muslim. He's Muslim just because he's in Dubai. In Dubai, I'm happy to be Muslim. <laughs> and when I'm in Romania, I'm happy to be Christian. The Ayat Ra'ad you're about to see is for adults only. If you're a child, please tune off. It's a medical condition that can affect everyone and it is halal and permissible. Lockdown pills for the moment when you're not feeling up for it. Available in both male and female. 100% authentic natural intimacy vitality pills endorsed in TV's This Morning Celebrity Dr. Chris Steele issue of the Celebrity Angels magazine by Iagra. Also, if you provide a five-star review after your purchase on Amazon, you can qualify for a fee pack. Terms and conditions apply. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Hope you guys are well, inshallah. So guys, there was this video going around of some individual. Uh, I don't know who the hell he is for that matter. Uh, I don't know if he's a Muslim or a Muslim for that matter, but he sounds like an absolute outright simp. Yeah, it's just somebody who's <clears throat> probably uh, begging for attention of the females and has to resort to saying stuff like you're going to see in a minute. So he's accusing Andrew Tate of being a secret disbeliever. Yeah, so we're going to come to a few Quran verses and a hadith uh, which tell us on what basis can we take someone at the fold of Islam. Uh, there's some statements that Andrew Tate made himself, uh, which we're going to come to, and also an insider who's Andrew Tate's old friend or did business with him, who is claiming that he is a fake Muslim. Let's watch for ourselves, inshallah. Here's the video. He was an insider, bro. He was a part of the inner workings of Andrew Tate's pimping scheme, bro. He tells it how it is, bro. And this is the confession. In Dubai, I'm happy to be Muslim. <laughs> and when I'm in Romania, I'm happy to be Christian. My name is Eli X Ampa. I am a Duke Propo and former head of sales and marketing at Corte. Eli worked for Andrew Tate for two years, selling access to his online courses. At one point, Eli was working for Tate from Dubai. He's not actually Muslim. He's Muslim just because he's in Dubai because he wants to be friends with all the sheikhs and stuff. All of a sudden he started doing business with sheikhs, all of a sudden he's Muslim. It's not real. Can I corroborate this? No. How did I find out? Sitting at a table in Dubai with him is when he told us. I asked him, are you actually Muslim? He said, well, kind of, not really. I'm just kind of doing it because I'm, I'm in the United Arab Emirates and it's, it's good for public perception. When was this conversation? Back in December, 2022, Andrew Tate converted to Islam primarily for marketing and for connections marketing in terms of seeming more righteous and reaching a new audience of uh, Islamic faith viewers. The kind of messaging around becoming a Muslim is like a way of him washing his reputation, for instance. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, you saw that. There was a video uh, footage of himself saying that when he's in Dubai, he's a Muslim, etc. Uh, this, if I'm not mistaken, the information that's written, uh, reached me, Tam Khan, who's his friend, said that this was from an old video. Now let's go to the video of this individual. This individual, who is he? To us, he's a fasic. He's an evildoer. Both the person who is speaking behind the video and this individual who's his friend Eli, or Eli, whatever his name is, yeah, for that matter. I'm so sorry, we don't know who the hell he is, we don't even if, if he's a trustworthy person and even if we go with that, what's the point? Like what's what's the aim here? So what's, what is the evidence? Yeah, what is the evidence to show that? Now not only that, let's just watch this another clip with, from this individual who is now starting to attack us, yes, because we've done videos supporting Andrew Tate's conversion. Let's watch it for a second and then we're gonna come and dissect this simp in totality inshallah. Most of your online dawah guys they're just using Islam for marketing purposes as well. You know, a lot of them are born Muslim, but they use Islam because, you know, it, it gets a lot of clicks and views because Islam is trending all of a sudden. But these guys have no critical thought. They don't want to tackle actual issues. They just want to talk about how women should be subjugated, uh, how the West is bad, why they live in the West. Mohammed Ijab, Ali Dawa, Daniel Akikachu, bash Europe, bash America. Whilst they live in in these countries, <laughs> like go go to Saudi or something, bro. Seriously, like if I was in charge of the government, I would send Mohammed Ijab back to Egypt. So in a nutshell, you can see, guys, he seems he sounds like an absolute clown. Uh, he wants to uh, send uh, individuals back to the country. So you can see this person. If he is a Muslim, he has a big nafak in his heart, and I doubt. I don't know if he's a Muslim, I don't know who the hell he is for that matter. He sounds like an outright simp. Somebody who is basically a pick-me. Yeah, so, you know, he thinks that uh, by talking in this way, etc., he's going to get the girls, etc. Listen, brother, come. Um, if you want, I can teach you halal ways of going about finding uh, a partner, inshallah, in the, in the right way. You don't need to simp. Simping women don't like men who are simps. You're going to be in the friends category for the rest of your life and die alone with uh, maybe a cat and some trainers, yeah? So if, if you're really worried about that by thinking that you're doing this and making accusations towards other believers, and not only that, you even question in our heart, myself, Muhammad Hijab, Dani Hakikachu, etc., that you know we're doing it for the fames and views. Do you have the keys to the unseen? Please do tell us. So we can see that you're not a trustworthy individual for you to accuse us and then go and accuse Andrew Tate. It shows there. You're just you're just a pick me simp. It's as simple as that. We understand, yeah? 
uh, maybe life is hard, whatever for that matter. Now let's come to this issue. Brothers and sisters, anybody that, come, anybody that comes to Islam with certainty, we can only take him out the fold of Islam with certainty. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, a companion came and said he was in the battlefield and he was fighting. And there was an individual where he defeated in war, but he was about to struck him and kill him. And the man said, I'm, I'll, I'll be a Muslim, I'm a Muslim, or I'm a Muslim for that matter, yeah? Okay, I, I accept Islam. And he killed him. And he came to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and told him this. The Prophet ﷺ got so angry and so upset because he said, did you open, he said, the man said to the Prophet, he only said this to save his life. And if you think about it in a situation of war, it's the obvious is what? The obvious is, yes, it looks like he's doing that to save his life. But Islam does not work in that manner when it comes to the Sharia and the capital punishments, yeah? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, did you open his heart and see his reality that he's not? He was very angry. So it's very, very profound. And there's verses in the Quran which pertaining to this issue, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Surah Al-Isa, verse 94, very interesting. And this individual, this clown, absolute uh, backstabber, this clown, weasel, um, nas, yes, who's coming and even going to a podcast and say, oh, he's not a real Muslim, etc. If there's anyone who's a outright non-Muslim disbeliever, it's you. You've claimed that you don't believe in God. Yes, let alone that you've let backstabbed your own people. Yes, you shameless man. I wish I could see you in face one to, uh, face face one day, uh, legally. Uh, I'll put you in your place. Allah says in the Quran, in Nisa verse 34, All you who believe, when you go forth in the fight, in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do not say to the one who gives you a greetings of peace, salam, you are not a believer, aspiring for the goods of the worldly life. For with Allah are many acquisitions. You yourselves were like that before. Then Allah can't conferred his favor upon you, so investigate indeed Allah is ever with what you do. Meaning what? If somebody gives you salam, you cannot come and say, be like, oh no, uh, you know, you're not. Allah clearly gives this order, okay? For a believer, his asal is that he is a believer, okay? He is in goodness, okay? His asal is not he's a fast, he's an evil doer, he's a disbeliever. So for that matter, anybody that comes to Islam with certainty, we can only take him out of certainty. So for this simp who's trying to, you know, uh, simp for the girls, etc. at the cost of throwing his brothers, let on all of us under the bus, including Andrew Tate, that, oh, one is a disbeliever apparently, Look guys, those videos are from old and before, okay? It is upon every Muslim to defend the honor of every believer. When Andrew Tate in the beginning was not a Muslim and he was saying certain things, I came out personally and done videos against him. We do not pick and choose, okay? But the Sharia called us to expose certain falsehoods that he preached, not all, before he was a Muslim. We did that. When he became a Muslim, the Sharia called us to welcome him, be patient with him, help him and guide him, whatever it is for that matter. And to defend his honor, we will defend his honor, whoever it is for that matter. We don't have our loyalty is with Allah and his messenger and the believers for that matter. So that's all I want to say, inshallah, for the simp. Yes, you're an absolute clown talking about people's matters uh, unseen, etc. That's all I wanted to say. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep Andrew Tate firm. Not only is he a Muslim, you see him in every interview calling other people to Islam. So brothers and sisters, we should be very careful because the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said anybody that calls a person a disbeliever, either that person is a disbeliever or he himself is a disbeliever. That's all I have to say, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you guys. Till next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. There is a link at the bottom, brothers and sisters, where we are raising funds to buy a building in Wales for a waqf, which is an ongoing, anything that's accumulated from that building rent uh, 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 money that comes in is going to go for the cause for the guards of the Palestinian brothers and sisters to give them justice intellectually, uh, be it food, be it uh, um, helping them build their houses back, whatever it is for that matter, inshallah. Please, there is a link for that at the bottom, inshallah. Please help us to purchase that property, inshallah. And I will show you guys step every step of the way, inshallah, once that, uh, that building is purchased. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.